Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So in this video, we're going to be sharing our thoughts and opinions going into tomorrow for AMC, how we believe the price action will play out. Also, sharing some other facts on why we believe AMC is ready to make a move right back to the upside, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So for starters, we know, like we were saying in our previous videos, retail investors and also large institutions are buying up AMC guys and over 60% of institutions that purchased AMC in 2022 which has been over 15 so far they have over 60% own over 100,000 shares of AMC so that's most definitely you know a great great indication guys because like I was telling you guys a lot of people have been waiting patiently they have felt like they missed you know the train on AMC once it had ran up the way it did the same thing with GameStop like I was selling the ones that followed the channel when GameStop took off the 300 400 dollars even it was at 60 70 I didn't you know a panic or I didn't FOMO in I didn't have you know fear of missing out trying to rush into GameStop I had just you know let it be I had looked in the same sector of GameStop something with the characteristics of GameStop for the next AMC, basically, what could be the next thing that pop off like GameStop? So that's when we started, you know, doing research. Everybody started hunting, looking around, what's going to be the next big short squeeze? And I started investing. The reason I took a big bet on AMC was because of the fact that I felt, you know, I was looking for stuff in the sector of a GameStop, like what's a, got a popular name, but a very, very cheap price. Like, I feel like that was going to be the territory that takes off next. Like, that's why... You know, all like you heard of Blackberry. Everybody knew Blackberry back in the day, but it's you know no longer in style. Everybody knew Blockbuster back in the day, but no longer in style. If they had a stock on the exchange still, that would have been one like that characteristics. So AMC fell in that category. The world largest movie theater chain trading at two dollars, four dollars, five dollars, eight dollars, because I got in at nine dollars a share. So you know that that just goes to show. That's what type of opportunity you look for whenever you see a certain sector go off the way it do. So whenever, you know, EV, whenever Tesla took off way before it's at the prices it's at now, obviously, you will start looking at other EV companies looking, you know, going ahead and positioning yourself before the one, you know, for that one take off that everybody didn't get into just yet. So I hope that made sense for you guys to help you know how to find. That was basically the gem on how to find the next big thing within that sector. Because 10 times out of 10, whenever one, you know, whenever a new thing go off, that thing, especially if it's a different sector, it could basically light up that sector. It can make others run in that same sector. They typically, you know, move on the same frequency. Just like Express, for example, ticker symbol EXPR, I had put you guys on that play a while ago when AMC first got hyped up. It was trading at $2 a share. It ran up to around $11. We cashed out. It came back down, dipped back down. We rinsed and repeated. It ran back up to $7, $8, and then it came back down again, guys. So back down to the 2 280 $2.80 range. So that was a good play too as well, but it didn't do exactly what we were intending for it to do because we did expect for it to go much higher guys and still express is still a good you know stop to have on your radar so let's go ahead and take a look at it and see why you know what i mean by what i was just saying because express can also give us an indication when amc can you know because if we see AMC express taking off doing wonderful things i'm pretty sure right alone amc is going to come trucking along because amc is what helps pushes express up but express can also help benefit and push amc up as well guys so express had closed at 348 on friday it was trading in the low the low threes around 319 318 then all of a sudden near power hour at the hours express just took off through the roof from the low threes all the way up almost hitching hitting four dollars so that was a good indication if express would have continued going on the four beyond the five because that five is a trigger spot that's when the large institutions and the big dollars will start looking it'll get on their radar and they'll start buying the stock and make it go even further so 
if it would have, you know, continued with that bullish run, that could have triggered AMC to take off. That's why when Express was doing that, I was watching it closely in the after hours on Fridays because I was, you know, I was anticipating the move if AMC, if Express continued to run, but it eventually slowed down and pulled back. So you already know, guys, that's the indication as well. So back to AMC, guys, we most definitely, you know, believe AMC is about to have that recovery we've been waiting on guys that's not to overly hype it not to get you know get anyone expectations out there i'm strictly just saying what i you know actually believe and what i see from what i see on the chart guys so amc was holding up very well good close over 15 on friday being for the fact that we had a lot of things to make us vulnerable and to fall even lower you know with the fed rate hikes we also had you know facebook dropping the way it did they can also make the markets go into a, a fear being for the fact that we know you know facebook was looked at like a blue chip company so whenever something like that falls it also dictate the rest of the market it can pull the rest of the market down right behind it so we had a few hiccups in the road while we're trying to recover but i do believe amc is you know and had the most damage is going to take because we believe it will go no lower than the low 13s, $14 range. And we should be seeing some upside from here, guys. So, like I say, we got over 15 institutions that bought in since 2022. And more institutions are about to buy in, guys. Being for the fact that they bought in because of the last quarter, the AMC has been showing itself and proving itself to be fundamentally going into a better state than it was before. It's using all the money that the apes help them have access to and taking advantage of the opportunity and building up the company in that way. So more institutions are getting involved in investing in AMC far as, you know, it's a win-win that the squeeze happened for them, but they actually buying for the fundamental aspects of the company guys being for the prices currently trading at, and they see it as a good deal, a good opportunity to make that investment. So that's good. And I, on our end of the stick. So, Going into tomorrow, how to believe AMC price action is going to actually play out. I do believe AMC, judging by the charts, as we can see right here. Let me pull it up, guys, so I can show you guys exactly what, you know, what we're talking about. We see we had a resistance. We got a resistance at 1575. That's why on Friday, we ran up around 1570 and stopped out and didn't continue to go. Right here on the chart, you can see. On the third, we hit 15.75 and got stopped out. That's when we took that dive, that little dip right back down. And that's the same point we hit on Friday. I'm pretty sure we're going to break through that 15.75 on tomorrow. Judging by the chart right here, you see that we got a nice staircase. We steady made it, making higher lows each time we pull back going on Friday's chart. So we ended the day at 3%, not much but a great sign of an indication of a continuation going into tomorrow. So we could potentially see AMC break through 1575, run up to around $18, not to overly hype, you know, get you too excited. I know it ain't much, but run up to around $18, guys, come back down. We know it had to pull back when it make big little moves like that. Really not a big move. It's going to pull back some end of day, right around 1735 guys. So, that's what I'm expecting going into tomorrow. You already know this is not financial advice, guys. I'm just sharing my thoughts, my opinions, and what I see, what's put in front of me. And you already know I love you guys. Consider joining the family. Post over here every single day. And add me on Instagram. We out, and God bless you. We gone.